Hey guys, welcome back. How is everybody doing today? For today's video, we're gonna be testing out so much new drugstore makeup. I'm really excited because I have had some really good luck with a lot of new drugstore makeup recently, so I have high hopes for these products. I have like a little bit of everything. I have some Essence, I have some Milani, Flower Beauty, Makeup Revolution, iHeart Revolution, a little bit of everything. So I hope you guys enjoy this. We are just gonna get into it. This video is gonna be long, so grab a snack, get cozy. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel for three new videos every single week. If you do enjoy my content, then stick around, join the fam, join the fun. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into some new drugstore makeup. Okay, so we are starting off with actually a new lip balm. So this is from Milani. It's the Fruit Fetish Pumpkin Spice Lip Balm. I really, really love the Fruit Fetish line from Milani. I really enjoyed the setting sprays that they came out with and the lip balms as well. They almost feel like a tinted lip gloss, not really like a lip balm, but I'm going to just prep my lips with this today. It smells really sweet. Oh, yeah, it's definitely like tinted. Yeah, to me, this feels like a lightweight, sheer lip gloss. You can see it gives you some color. I feel like these are really pretty if you're on the go. I just wanted to try out this one because it's at pumpkin spice and obviously it's fall. Pretty. It's kind of like your lips, but better. Okay, so I have a new eyeshadow palette here and I'm so excited about it. So this is the Hello Berlin. I believe it's how you pronounce it. Eyeshadow palette. Looks really cute. Matches what I'm wearing. This is definitely fall in a palette. So I'm going to do like a green, like simple smoky eye today. So the first color that I'm going to use is this soft brown and I'm just going to be applying that in my crease. I love how there's a the little mirror and everything. So cute. I'm just using that same color with just a different brush just to like pack that color on in the crease a little bit more and on the outer part and also on my lid area as well I always like apply my shades pretty much everywhere I actually really like this lip balm from Milani because I feel like it's like a good like just everyday kind of like lightweight glossy lip that you could put on you could throw it on over like a lip liner or something and just keep it really simple for every day let's start off with this green here and then i'll add the darker green Ooh, i'm nervous i always get nervous playing with to me this is playing with color because it's green but we're just gonna go with it i'm gonna start kind of packing that on and then i'm just gonna also dip into that darker green Taking a little bit more of the crease color that I was using, which is like that mid-tone warm shade. I'm just gonna add that in there a little bit more. I don't really know what I'm doing, honestly. I'm kind of just going with it. I think once I add the shimmer, this should come together, hopefully. Let's add the shimmer, and then if needed, I'll add a little bit more green in here. So I think I'm gonna do, this looks really pretty, this like light gold shimmer. Ooh, so pretty. There is some kickback with this palette. Like it's definitely powdery when you dip your brush in. The colors are still nice. It doesn't really bother me, but I always like to mention that just in case. And let's add a little bit more green here to like blend out the edges. By the way, I am still mixing both of those greens because I like the way that looks. I really, really actually love this palette. I feel like it's super easy to work with. I'm really liking the green. I mean, minus the fallout, I like it. I like it a lot, actually. I like the tones in here, too, because they are like greens and like, you know, kind of earthy tones, but still really subtle. Let's do a little brown winged smoky liner because I feel like I know I do it a lot, but I feel like with this look, we need that. So I have here the new Flower Beauty Liquid Blendable Eyeliner, and this one is a shadow and liner in one. And this one's in the shade Spiced. So I ordered this directly on their website. Let's swatch. Oh, this is not the color that I thought this was going to be. This this is kind of like a, a taupe, whereas I thought it was gonna be more brown. So definitely not the vision that I had with this. Not with this look, no. Okay, I guess we'll just do some black winged liner then. 
Okay, so I have this one also from Flower Beauty. This is the Forever Wear Winged Liner, and this one is an all-nighter. Yeah, I don't know about that product. That color is a little deceiving. It's a little different than what I thought it was gonna be, but I mean, it's fine. Maybe I'll use it for like a different look. Ooh, this is nice though. The packaging on this is like super nice. Ooh, we got a felt tip. Okay, so we need to fix that. But this is working really well. Dang, she thick. Okay. My winged liner is thick. Okay, I guess we're doing something dramatic. I'm gonna fix this up a little bit because it looks a little janky. So I'm gonna fix this, add some mascara. I'm also gonna add some falsies. I've really been loving these from Kiss. These are newer from their Max Out Limited Edition line. And these are in the style Love. So pretty, I love these with winged liner. They're very wispy and tapered and obsessed. So I'm gonna pop these on and then we'll move into the skin. But so far I'm really actually loving this little green eyeshadow moment. I think this is cute, this palette, the liner. So far, so good. So I'll be right back. Okay, lashes always complete the look. I can never not do lashes, especially with winged liner and a smoky eye. I feel like this just really brought everything together. I actually really do like the liner. I like the formula of it. It's super black. Now for primer, I have this one from XX Revolution. So this is kind of like Makeup Revolution's other like sister brand. I feel like they have different kind of sister brands. Like I know they have iHeart Revolution. This is a different line from them. So this says it's a cloud complexion soft touch primer. And let's take it out of the packaging and see what it looks like. The packaging looks really cute. Very like actually high end vibes here. It says it's a sorbet like water gel with a smooth soft touch texture it improves the appearance of skin by minimizing pores and brightening the complexion okay sold I'm here for it they actually sent this to me oh this is like really like cooling on the face oh my gosh this smells so good wow the texture of it is very I don't want to say moussey, it is very soft, like just different. Doesn't feel like a moisturizer, it just feels, I, I don't know, I can't explain it, but it feels good. I don't know if it necessarily like smoothed out my skin or like my pores or anything, but it does feel really nice. We'll see how the foundation applies over top. For foundation today, I have this one from Flower Beauty. This is the Get Real Serum Foundation. So this one's in the shade Nude L3, and I also got Warm Beige L4. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Warm Beige L4, and it comes with a pump, the foundation. It says it's a medium buildable coverage foundation with a natural radiant finish, which is basically what I love in a foundation. I also have the Milani Perfector Duo Blend blending sponges. So this is what the packaging looks like. They just come in a two pack and I got these from Walmart and this is what the sponges look like. So you get a big one and then you get a little baby one. So cute. They feel really bouncy. I did get them damp already under the sink. I don't know if this is going to match. Oh goodness. Here we go. I'm just going to pounce this into the skin. Definitely way too light for me. And I went in with like the darkest color that I got. I got Nude L3. This is, I don't know if I can return stuff on Flower Beauty, but those are just way too light. Okay, so besides the color, I'm not getting any coverage. I know it's supposed to be like a serum foundation, but it does say on here that it's medium coverage and then it's buildable, but I'm not really getting medium coverage, but we're gonna build it up. It's okay. Like you can still see, let me put the brightness down a little bit. Like you can still see little scars that I have right there. Like all of that is still peeking through. So I have really been loving the BH Cosmetics and Nazanin Kavari brush set. I feel like I talk about it in like every video. If you watch all of my videos, you're probably like, girl, we get it. You like that brush set. But this is the number two brush and I love it for foundation. So I'm going to use this and build it up with a brush and see how it looks. This brush gives you such a like a soft airbrush finish and it doesn't like pick up a lot of the product, like soak it up. Like you're still gonna get good coverage with the brush. Okay, it is building up, but I don't think it's super crazy. Like it's definitely a natural, medium, slightly buildable coverage. This is definitely an everyday foundation, but I don't know about the shade. Like. Obviously the color is not good. I don't know what color I would be. 
Ooh, get out. Definitely gonna have to bronze the skin. This is, it is pretty though. I feel like this could be a good, like maybe everyday foundation if you don't have a lot to cover up. You want something just really healthy. This is, I feel like, like a lighter coverage version of the Rare Beauty foundation, which I really like that foundation, but that one has more coverage than this. But again, it's like a lighter version of it. I feel like you definitely get better coverage when you build it up with a brush. So this is what the foundation looks like up close and personal, and I'm honestly not mad about it. I feel like now that it's kind of settled into my skin for a few minutes, the color doesn't look perfect, but it doesn't look as bad as I thought it was gonna look. It's very healthy. I agree with the claim of it being a radiant foundation. It's very natural on the skin. I feel like it almost just kind of enhances your natural complexion, which I think is really pretty. So I'm not mad about it. I'll let you guys know how this wears throughout the day. I definitely need to get a better shade. And I, again, wish that their shade range was better. Flower Beauty, please. Can we get some more shades? But we'll see how it lasts throughout the day. So let's move into concealer. I didn't have a brand new concealer, so I did just purchase another one. I got two of them, the Light Illusion Full coverage concealers from Flower Beauty just because it's been a while since I tested this out. This used to be one of my go-to like holy grail concealers. I think I'm gonna start with light medium and then I might add some light to it because my face is already pretty light right now. Then I'll add a light over top. But yeah, this is kind of like my, what my foundation shade should be. Because yeah, I feel like light on its own is a little too light and then light medium is like a little too dark so i need something like in between these two colors but mixing them is fine i'm going to use a little baby milani sponge to blend this in to the skin that rhymed i like these sponges a lot these are super bouncy so you can add these to your drugstore wish list along with the elf ones i love the elf sponges those are so good and it's i feel like really hard to top the total face sponge from elf but this is like really good the shape is a little bit different than the one from elf but i'm loving it wow this concealer has nice coverage i forgot how good it is i also don't have a new powder so i'm just going to use my elf halo glow setting powder which is one of my favorites this one's in the shade light i'm just going to use that little milani sponge to really press down that powder Go Milani. I love these little sponges. And I think it was like $10 for both of them at Walmart, so super affordable. Speaking of Flower Beauty, I'm gonna use one of their powder brushes just to set the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna use that same Halo Glow powder. I actually really love Flower Beauty makeup brushes. They're really good. Okay, my brows are looking a little powdery, so I'm gonna use the Flower Beauty Fiber Fix Brow Gel, and I got this one in the shade Brunette. Oh, it's so little. Oh, it's tiny. I don't know about this color. I wish it was a little bit darker. It's a little too warm for me. But I do like the applicator, like the wand. It's just, yeah, it's a little too warm because it's like a brown like a brunette shade for bronzer i have the i heart revolution coffee bronzer and this is the coffee break bronzer and this is apparently it says wake up skin with caffeine infused soft powder bronzer and i got this one in the shade latte super cute it doesn't smell like coffee but it, wow this looks really really dark i don't know if this is gonna work for me but we are gonna make it work It's a nice color, actually. I thought it was gonna be a little bit like too muddy on the skin, but it works. Is it like my holy grail, like new favorite bronzer? Probably not, but it's definitely doable. And I think it was like seven bucks, so super affordable. Okay, for blush, I have a new one from Milani. This is really cute. They sent this little pamphlet over and it says here, the baked blush family is expanding. So cute. So this is the color I'm gonna use today, which is this like orangey pumpkin color. What color is it? Sunrise Serenita. Sunrise Serenita, 120. And then the other shade is Coco Felicita. So 
much darker color, but I love that for my dark skin babes out there. Milani baked blushes are amazing. They're probably some of the best at the drugstore. They're really, really like high end quality. And this is like a true orange. I feel like this could also be good if you are darker tanner as well. So I'm gonna be, for once, very light handed with this shade. And I'm just gonna use Wow, it's definitely orange, but it's pretty. Ooh, go Milani. This is really pretty. And then for highlighter, I have this new palette from Hard Candy. It's the Just Glow Highlighting Duo, and this one is in Blushing On You. So I think I'm gonna use this color here. I don't know if this is gonna really match the look that we have going on, so I'm gonna dip into a little bit of this. It looks glittery, but hopefully on the face it'll be better. I normally really like Milani, or just kidding, Hard Candy highlighters. That blush also from Milani does have a little bit of a glow to it too, which is really pretty. So if you wanna skip out on highlighter, you totally can if you're like not into a lot of highlighter because that has a glow to it. But okay, this is actually pretty. Hey, drugstore makeup, who? Like, this is why I love drugstore makeup. Like nobody's gonna know. Who's gonna know? Like that one TikTok. But really, like nobody would know that these products are affordable. Like the drugstore has just been killing it for years. Like a lot of the products, they're just, they perform a lot of them like as if it was a high-end product. It's crazy. You know, looking at it in the pan, I was like, this is gonna be glittery. It's gonna have like a bunch of fallout everywhere and it's actually not. It's super smooth and very pretty. I feel like the first layer looks glittery, but once you get past that, it's kind of just like a film over it. It's actually not as glittery as what it looks like in the pan, and I like it. For the lower lash line, I'm just gonna go into these two colors right here and just smudge those right under there. Love, okay. And then I have an eyeliner that's perfect, like, chef's kiss <laughs> with this look. This is the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner and this one is in Moss Boss. I actually have tried these and they're very pigmented. They have a bunch of different like earth tone colors but I've never tried this color in particular. Again, it's in uh, Moss Boss. I think I just said that. But it's like a green and I feel like, like how perfect is that with this eyeshadow look? Ooh. Then I'm gonna go into this color and I'm just gonna apply that in the inner corners. I'm gonna dip and then I'm gonna spray my brush. Oh, this is gonna match this lip color that I have. Mm, let's go with it. Okay, so I have the NYX Light On Glide On Pencil in the shade Beyond Nude. I love these, but I've never tried this color before. And then for lipstick, I'm gonna use the Flower Beauty Perfect Pout Moisturizing Lipstick, and this one I have in the shade Blossom. Wow, this is like fall lips. I like it. It's different for me though. You guys know I love my nudes. So this is out of my comfort zone. Wow, this is actually really moisturizing. I actually like this a lot. I don't have a drugstore setting spray that's like brand new, but I do have this new one that I've never tried from Sally's Beauty, which is from Palladio, and this is like an affordable makeup brand. So this is the Forever and Ever makeup setting spray, and it's the dewy finish one. I was in Sally's like two weeks ago, just picking up a couple things from the brand Collab, and I came across this, and I was like, let me try it out, because I don't really hear a lot of people talking about Palladio, but the things that I did try from this brand, I really do like, and it's relatively very affordable, so. It smells like Urban Decay All Nighter. I am very happy to announce that this is another successful drugstore video. I pretty much loved everything. I think the only thing in today's video that I can live without, that I'm not crazy over, is this I Heart Revolution bronzer. I just don't really feel like this is like revolutionary, <laughs> no pun intended, but really like I can live without this. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't like amazing. I have other favorites. This one, again, it's not bad, but it's not like, I don't really feel like you need it. Everything else though, I love, love the blush, love the highlighter, I love the foundation. The shade isn't perfect, but I feel like now it looks a lot better versus when I first applied it. I feel like it's super healthy, it's lightweight, great for every day. I'm definitely gonna be, hopefully I can return this and maybe get a different shade because I do like the way it looks on the skin. I just feel like it's a great, just natural medium coverage 
radiant foundation that really makes your skin look like your skin but better which I'm all about I know the concealer wasn't new but it's been a while since I used it and I like the combination of the concealer with the serum foundation the setting spray was nice I feel like it also gave my skin just like that little extra oomph that I needed lip combo is incredible pretty much loved everything to be honest I'm super impressed with the primer and also these makeup sponges from Milani these are really good I'm really happy with all these products let me know if you guys have tried them down below if there's anything else that you guys want me to test out for upcoming videos I'll let you guys know how everything wore also so check the description box below the sun is oh my god it's getting so bright so let me end the video here because my lighting is going to get all messed up but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you very soon in my next one bye